Yeah, my name's Robert Wheatley. I'm a patient in Signet Hospital, Stevenage, and I've been here for about five years. I set up a studio when I was doing uh, music production, teaching music production three years ago. And I said to the hospital, uh, why don't we set up a studio? And it was a good, great idea. We've got a music teacher in, teach for a little while, and then he left. And, and then we started setting up a studio, getting funds and everything else for the studio. I think the patients were um, had so many ideas, like from, for example, from designing the artwork, having ideas and doing sketches, to designing the layout of the furniture. So Rob um, was the co-lead in this project, um, and it was really important for him to be at the table from the very start of the project. Um, he brought a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of knowledge and skill. And done studio skills and music production for two years, and passed with flying colours. Uh, I carried on doing my music production by myself for years. Uh, I didn't have a computer for about six years when I was in hospital, because the other hospitals where I was at, you weren't allowed an Apple Mac. It's only that here you're allowed an Apple Mac, and I was allowed to use my program. So the room was really led by Laura and the service users. I was, I suppose, a conduit to helping say yes to the money, and overall from a management perspective, I was going to be led by them. They're the ones who've got the expertise in the field of music and music therapy. It was an interesting journey. It's exciting, and it was a big learning curve because it's the first year I've ever set up. The space that we've used used to be a finance cupboard, and it was floor to ceiling with files. Um, we did a visit to Digital Village where um, I just left Rob to it. He just went off and spoke to the like, studio specialists. It's only because I've had a little, a, quite a bit of experience or start up a little bit and it's progressed and I've learned by, it's been a learning curve and I'm, I'm totally flabbergasted by the, the amount of appreciation and support I've got from the hospital and the managers and all that lot. We've got about £5,000 to set up the studio and it's gone exceedingly well. Right? I'm amazed, I don't know. It's been amazing. Today has been amazing. It's been a really long time coming. I think that it exceeded all expectations, actually. I found it quite emotional. I thought it was fantastic to see people singing, ad-libbing. Some people have prepared, prepared things. No, it gave me a buzz just everybody today, you know, enjoying it, you know, I know. It gave me a buzz, you know, it gave me a rush, you know, I know. For Rob, it's his passion and um, He's made comments before about the meaning it has in his life and how it's um, been really helpful in, in terms of his mental health and at points in his life it's been the only thing that's kept him going. Um, and I know lots of people really relate to that. I think generally speaking, in terms of offering um, meaningful activity to people as occupational therapists, music is one of the most powerful things that people will engage in. Um, we struggle a lot, particularly in secure services. People have been here for a long time, they're quite institutionalised. The studio to help with everybody's recovery who comes into this hospital and learn something by coming into the studio, either singing, rapping, poetry, spoken word, it's going to help people in such a way they're never going to be able to forget it.